Hello, it's Sandra again with Life Over 60. Today I would like to do a really quick video on the seven ways that I relieve my stress. I admit I'm a type A personality, so I don't let a lot of my feelings out, and so therefore I suppress them, and that turns into stress a lot of time. So the first thing that I have learned to do is I learn to live in the now. I don't worry about what happened yesterday. I don't worry about what is going to happen tomorrow. But I try to live in the moment and I deal with what is happening right now. It makes a big difference on how your stress level is every day if you're just dealing with things that are current and not worrying about yesterday or tomorrow. The next thing that is really important is building a community and keeping in touch with that community. Whether it's family, friends, uh, your neighbors, it's so important for longevity and happiness to be sure that you're connecting with people that are positive, with people that make you feel loved and make you feel good. That is really important. Every day I talk to my children or they call me or now with technology we can uh, FaceTime. It is so important that you do reach out and you don't become isolated. That really does help relieve stress. The third thing is to try to get out every day and, and be with nature. We live in such a wonderful universe and a wonderful world. Just getting out and walking around the block, if you live in the, in the city, looking at the architecture, hearing the sounds, and seeing all of the people. If you live near a park, that's even better. You can walk along the paths, listen to the birds, look at the beautiful trees and flowers. I have a dog, so I get out at least three times a day. I either go to the beach, walk into a dog park, or just walk around in my neighborhood. But it's a good way to break whatever I'm doing, give me a little bit of rest, and let me enjoy this wonderful world that is all around each and every one of us. The next thing is that I really feel that when I'm getting uptight and my brain's in the knot, my stomach is in the knot, and my muscles are all in the knot, I try to find a quiet place in the house, whether it's up in the master bedroom, whether it's in a corner of your living room, even in your kitchen, if that's where you feel comfortable and it's quiet. Sit down and for at least 10 minutes, just start breathing deeply. Breathe in through your nose and breathe slowly out through your mouth. Breathe, breathe in through your nose. I usually try to hold it maybe for 10 seconds and then I let it out. And it really is amazing. After about 10 deep breaths, I can feel myself unwinding and becoming more relaxed as I go. So that also is a great thing to do if you are under a lot of stress. The other thing you can do in this world of technology is take a tech break. I am so guilty of this because I am on Poshmark, Twitter, I have two Facebook pages, um, I write a blog, I am on Instagram, and I am on here on YouTube. So I am almost my a cell phone should be tied to my skin because I am so attached to my phone. So what I do every day and what I've been trying to do every day is just for about two hours, I put my phone on airplane mode and I just ignore it completely. I go back into the 1950s when we didn't have cell phones and when we were not disturbed and obsessed with the internet. And it really does help. Another thing that I do is because everything around us in the world, in the news, is getting so stressful, at least for me, I try to limit my exposure to watching television news. Deepak Chopra did say one time, try to take a whole week away from watching the news and watching television and you'll see how much better you are relaxed and how much improved is your positive attitude. And he's right. 
being an anchor woman, I'm kind of attached to the news, but I'm trying to wean myself off of listening to news. When I do, I limit myself to about one hour, and that's the max that I do because it really stresses me out with everything that's going on in the world today. Another thing is to get plenty of sleep. They have done research and they said that the hours between 11 and 7 a.m. are the best hours to get sleep. So try to work your schedule so that you are getting enough sleep between those hours. My husband has insomnia. He's had it ever since I've known him. But as he's gotten older, it's gotten worse. He's tried medications. He's tried over-the-counter medications. He's tried melatonin, but he just can't seem to take anything that lets him to have a full night's sleep. So I've advised him that when he's awake and he's staring at the ceiling and so restless to get up, go downstairs, make himself a cup of herbal tea, sweet dreams, something, and sit and read a book until he becomes tired. And it has work. And then he comes to bed and he's able to at least get a couple of hours of good deep REM sleep. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is bad habits. We all have them. I love sugar. I've broken myself from the habit of eating sugar because it used to be that when I would go out to eat, I couldn't wait for the dessert. <laughs> I'd rather have a big piece of cheesecake than eat the meal. But I realized and I've read enough to know that sugar really is not good for me. So I try to eliminate sugar completely from my life and maybe only you know once a week once every two weeks have have something that's sweet and that I'm tempted but it's amazing once I have quit eating sugar the craving has gone I don't crave it anymore but we all have habits we all have bad habits or else we'd all be walking around with angel wings in the streets so if you have a bad habit think about it try to if you can't eliminate it, try to eliminate it slowly by cutting down or whatever it is that you are doing that really is destructive and, and start making better choices for your life. So those are the seven things that I personally do to help relieve my stress. Thank you for listening to my chat. I hope you have a wonderful day and let's all stress less out. Take care. Over 60 is a wonderful time of life, so let's take advantage of every single minute of it. Mm -hmm.